Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Ads customer audience app by Simprosis. In this video, we will show you the step-by-step -step integration process for Google Ads customer audience app with your Shopify store. And, eligibility criteria for customer match or customer list for Google Ads account. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing, and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Here, we are on the Shopify App Store page, and we will search Google Ads Customer Audience using search bar. Please click on our app. And, on the following page, use the Add App button for installing into your Shopify store. Now, the app is taking you to the permissions page. Please approve the permissions requested by the app to work on your store. Now, you will have to link this app with your right Google Ads account. Kindly click on this, Login with Google button. Once you click, make sure you select the right Google account if you are already signed in. If you are not already signed into the browser, kindly enter the right login details of your Google Ads account. Then approve the permissions asked by the app to connect the app to your Google Ads account. Now, on this page, make sure you are selecting the right Google Ads account if you have multiple Google Ads account access from the same email. If you have MCC access on the given email ID, make sure you select the right parent account, and, then correct sub-account. Now, our app will check if your account is approved for customer list audience, or, not. If you are not approved for a customer list audience, you will get a message like this in the top. Please note, customer list, or, customer match is not available for all advertisers. To use customer list, or, customer match, your account must fulfill the following criteria. A good history of policy compliance. A good payment history. At least 90 days history in Google Ads. More than 50,000 United States dollars total lifetime spend. For advertisers whose accounts are managed in currencies other than USD, your spend amount will be converted to USD using the average monthly conversion rate for that currency. If you want to start using Customer Match and you meet the requirements above, you'll need to contact your assigned account manager to request access to Customer Match. Else, we can try it for you. We do not guarantee that Google shall approve the Customer List feature for your account. But, we shall try our best to get you that feature. If the selected account is approved, it must show a success message like this in the top. By default, our app creates these two lists. It is up to your preference if you wish to use them on any campaign, or, not. But, they don't harm if you don't use them in any campaign. When you click on Report link here, you can set Report Frequency. At the Set Frequency, you shall get the summary of the customer data sync of the same period. By default, our app works with your customers who will buy from your store from the time you complete the installation of the app. If you need to work on historical customer data, kindly click on the Consider Existing Customers menu link here. It will allow you to select the period within which you need app to consider the customers to work with. Our app charges one time charge of $2.99 per 1,000 customers for historical customer data sync. So, based on customer counts in the given period, you will have to approve the charge. Historical customer data syncing is completely optional. Now, if you wish to create any custom rule-based audience for any campaign, then click here. Then, put in the name of the custom list. Then select the duration for which a customer in the list has to be considered for the campaign. Then from the option, make sure you select the right option or options. In this case, I am selecting the last one month's customers. But, you get all these options to build the list or multiple lists. So, after setting the rules for customer list and pressing the Create Audience List button, you will have to approve the charge. For each additional rule-based list we charge additional $2.99 per month.
If you wish to modify any existing list, please click here on edit icon and make changes in the rule or rules of the audience. Then you have to press the update audience list button. If you wish to delete any already existing list, you will have to press the delete icon. It will simply delete the list and allow you to reduce the monthly charge for the deleted list. Please allow about 2 hours of time to create new audience lists in your Google Ads account. Then please go to the Audience Manager page of the connected Google Ads account. You will be able to see those lists created there in the Audience Manager. Once the list is created and sufficient enough for the kind of campaign you would like to use it, you can use that list in the campaign. For any query, kindly press this Get Support button and drop your message in the form. Else, if online chat support as team is online, you can directly chat with our support from the same button. Also, we request you use Get Support button only to get in touch with us. Any direct email to our support at Symprosis.com may land in spam folder. We check and clean our spam folder once on the working day only. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.